Hey, everybody, Ann here. Guess who's here to chop some wood? I'm not going to film this whole thing because he's going he's gonna to chop it and then I'm going to split it. Wish us luck. He's going to show me how to split it. I'm going to see if I can do it it's in a wood. minute. You need dry wood. Yeah. Well, you're doing it pretty good. Ooh, that's going to be tough. Here, let me try the try it on this one. All right. This is going to be comical at first, okay? Now let me hit you. Oop. Ha! It is kind of kind of wet. One more. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I know. I'm bad aim. All right. Yes. Now let me try this one. Yep, it's too wet. I think what we can, I can do. That one down there, down. Yeah, that's down, down there. I don't know what happened to yourself. Well, I might be able to get it with this axe. I think what I'm going to do is just spread these all out, let them dry out. Yep.
wood. That's oak. It's very hard wood. I was sawing that with my tiny saw, so I know how hard it is. That, dull, that, that rotten wood does a blade right there. Oh, that's a... The saw. I'm so sorry. That's okay. How much is it going to cost to get it fixed? No, I mean... Let's see. It ain't going to do it. Man. I was sawing that with my little saw blade. <laughs> it in a different position. I got it started for you. Oh, Lord. Woo! Can we cut this one a little shorter? Like in half? That's hard, isn't it? Man, that's quite a bit, Mr. Lucas. I can't be cutting that up though, that's rotten. Yeah. Not good. And I imagine it's probably the same with that wood pile down there, too. Wet. Yeah. That's what you need to cut up. Yep. What should I do with all that other wood? That wood and that wood. I mean, I don't think there's any way I can get it just dried out. Yeah, you put something over it. Yeah. It might dry out some, but I doubt it. That's kind of what you got to burn. Yep. Freshly fallen trees. There's no telling how long these other trees have been laying there. Well, it looks like his saw blade got totally dulled. Trying to cut up that big pile of wood that's totally wet, rotten. But he did get a whole bunch of this wood processed for me, so that's a good bet. I'm going to go put it out in the sun just to make sure it gets nice and dry. And then I'm gonna go pick up the pieces of that other wood pile over there and put them, uh, put them on a pallet, the pallet behind the shed, and then cover them up so that they can dry out. So hopefully, eventually they'll dry out, but I'm not convinced. They're pretty wet, they're pretty rotten, so I'm not even sure it would be good to bring that inside and burn it. But you never know till you try. I went ahead and just stacked this wood up over here. There's some smaller pieces underneath that are like pretty wet. Uh, hopefully these will dry out. I got a little plastic thing over them, um, you know, to protect it from the dew in the morning and rain and whatnot. I can pull it down if I need to. But around the back, I've got more. This is behind the shed. <laughs> I couldn't decide which way to put the wood, so I'm doing an experiment. I put some this way and some down this way, and then I just stacked all the little bits <laughs> on top of this. I can cover it with a tarp. I'm just going to leave it open air right now. Uh, it's not going to rain for a few days, so. But I will get out here and cover it up with a blue tarp. And maybe, maybe some of this will dry out. I don't know. It is just really, really wet. I mean, it's kind of like the inside of a spaghetti squash. I mean, literally, I could just take it and just pull it apart with my fingers <laughs> in, into strings, a lot of it. So I don't know if I'll be able to burn this in the future, but for now, I just got it sitting out here. So we'll see what happens with it. Who knows? That's an awful lot of wood, though. Mr. Lucas is my hero. I mean, you saw how how feeble I looked trying to swing that axe and he just swings that axe and just breaks up that wood. It's crazy. So thank you, Mr. Lucas. You're pretty awesome. You're an amazing guy and a great neighbor. Hopefully someday I'll be able to give back to you. I don't know. I'll figure something out though. And now for some Judy and Chicken TV. All right, girl, let's go get it. Drop it. Drop it. Look at she's already tore it up a little bit. Good girl. Good girl. She's trying her hardest to get this to come apart. Go get it. Look at her in her cute little sweatshirt. I tell you what. Drop it. Drop it. Come on, Judy.
she has to do this until she completely shreds it apart. She would be shivering out here without that. Uh, one morning, uh, before I started putting it on her, whoa, she, uh, she got done doing her business. She came back up on her little bed here, and she was just shivering away. So this is awesome. Thank you, Teresa. All right, come on, come on, come on. Go get it. Ooh, did she get it? No, I don't know if she caught it in the air. She's done it before. I wish I could get it on film. All right, drop it. <laughs> She's not going to drop it. She just wants to chew it. Good girl. Go get it. I'm not a very good thrower. If I were a better thrower, she would definitely be able to catch it in the air every time. It's kind of hard to film and do that at the same time. That's a good girl. Drop it. Drop it. Come on, let me have it. Oh. <laughs> okay. Good girl. I think she got it in the air that time. Good girl. Drop it. <sighs> She'll get it. Oh, take a look at this, you guys. It's just before dark, and almost all of the chickens are up on this roost. There's just maybe three, yeah, two over there kind of still. One's napping over there and one's off in the distance. But never would this have happened before this rooster was here. And look at they're all just being so nice and peaceful with one another. Oh, they're such good chickens. I love my chickens. That's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.